Hey guys and welcome back to another division video. Now today let's take a look at this build that I made. Mostly yellow items, no exotics here. It's using three pieces of Empress International. The mask, the chest piece, and the gloves. Now in the chest piece we're using the perfect version. Um, it's a yellow item. It's called Caesar's Guard. It's an Empress International. It has the talent perfectly skilled. Skill kills have a 30% chance to reset skill cooldowns, which is very nice if you decide to use those skills that like for example Sticky Bomb or Cluster Mine, Seeker Mine, you know, all those skills that's, that would benefit this talent. Another perfect talent that we have here is the Hana Yu piece. It's called Force Multiplier. Hana Yu, it gives us 10% skill haste. It has the talent perfect combined arms shooting an enemy increases total skill damage by 30 percent for three seconds now that is very nice we just need to shoot enemies and we get that buff right okay so for those people that are interested in what the items are let's start off with the very top here which is the specialization i'm using technician just for that extra skill tier so we could reach skill tier six after that i'm using test subject Secondary weapon is Surge. You could go for a Mechanical Animal. We have three pieces of Empress, right? The important thing here is the chest piece because that is like the Caesar's Guard. It's a perfect um, version of Empress. And then we have like two pieces of Brazos Deer Cabas. And lastly, we have Hana Yu. It gives us another perfect talent, which is perfect com combined arms. Now, the stats or mods that you want for this build is skill damage, skill haste, and another skill haste. Now for the skills, it's pretty much up to you what you want to use. This build has like a bunch of skill haste and there's a chance for you to reset cooldown because of the chest piece. So feel free to use like sticky bomb, cluster mine, it, it's, it's up to you. Also, this build has like some skill health. So if you decide to go for like some drone or turret or maybe hive, you know, all these other skills, maybe even a shield, it's it could work. So it's pretty much up to you what you want to use. Okay, so for the specialization, I'm using technician mostly just for this talent here, which is amped. It gives us plus one skill tier. Also, if you decide to go for surge, take this one it gives us 15 percent increased rifle damage and then the other one would be this one it gives us 15 percent assault rifle damage you know that works for a capacitor and test subject or even a mechanical animal if you wish to use that weapon okay now that's done let's take a look at the weapons first off we have our main weapon here i decided to go for test subject but again you could use capacitor if you wanted to uh, test subject is pretty good. I have here assault rifle damage, health damage, and critical hit chance. But the most important thing here is the talent here, which, which is perfectly in sync. Hitting an enemy grants 20% skill damage for 5 seconds. And if you use a non-shielded skill or damaging an enemy with a skill, you get 20% weapon damage for 5 seconds. Now, if both buffs are active, you get the double the amount of buff right really good for the mods for this weapon i'm using a 5% critical hit chance here and another 5% critical hit chance mod and then for the rounds let's see here we have plus 20 rounds here and minus 10 reload speed now for the secondary weapon i'm using the surge it is a yellow item you don't have to use this you could use whatever you want but i'm using this one it has rifle damage, critical hit damage, and some reload speed. I haven't really optimized this one yet. I think this should be probably critical hit chance or something else. But the most important thing here is this talent here, which is perfect spike. Headshots grant 25% skill damage for 15 seconds. Now the mods that I have here is since I'm not really you know planning to do damage, I decided to go for accuracy. I did put here a link laser pointer, which is the attachment that we unlock from technician. Might as well use it here. And then we have here 10% stability, 
and let's see if we have like any other mods here there we go we have 20 plus round although it does give us minus 10 reload speed so i think that's better than plus 10. lastly for the sidearm i'm using any weapon would work right just uh put some talent there that would buff your damage now for this one i have future perfect like i said you know you just try to kill an enemy with your gun or weapon damage and then you get to trigger overcharge for 15 seconds pretty nice although i don't really use this a lot okay so now that's done let's take a look at the armor pieces first up we are going to take a look at the mask which is empress international now first bonus that we have here is skill health second is skill damage and lastly we have skill efficiency all are 10 percent really good and if you guys are wondering what skill efficiency is it's a it's a new stat it's basically a combination of multiple skill related related stats for example it gives skill efficiency is equal to skill damage skill haste skill duration skill health repair skills and even status effects so this simple word here skill efficiency means a lot it's basically 10 percent of all those stats that i mentioned as our core attribute plus one skill tier the mods that i have here is skill haste skill damage and a skill haste mod next up let's take a look at the chess piece another empress international that will trigger our second piece bonus which is skill damage and the attributes that i have here is skill haste skill damage and a skill haste mod the talent that we have here is perfectly skilled skills have a 30 percent chance to reset skilled cooldowns pretty pretty simple and um very very nice next up we are taking a look at the holster i am using a brassus the arcabus it gives us 10 percent skill haste and since we're wearing two pieces we get that plus one skill tier uh, the core attribute that i have here is armor and it defaults uh this roll so you can easily get this armor roll here and then you could roll the stat here at the bottom skill damage i would prioritize skill damage instead of skill haste all right that is for the holster and for the backpack i'm wearing a force multiplier it is a hanayu corporation we're only wearing one piece it would be nice if we wear a second piece of this so if you don't mind having less armor maybe consider wearing another hanayu and not brazos the Arcabus. but i feel this is for another build that uses ninja bike as its backpack and we can trigger all these secondary stats here but for this build i'm using this one it gives us 10 percent skill haste some skill damage here skill haste and a skill haste mod the talent that we have here is perfectly combined arms now this is pretty simple too shooting an enemy increases skill damage by 30 percent for three seconds next up the gloves it's another empress international the stats that you want is skill haste and skill damage last but not the least is the second piece for our brazos the Arcabus. it has a default armor roll so i'm trying to optimize it but you know no resources and just prioritize getting some skill damage here and skill haste now for the skill you could use pretty much any skill you want if you're trying to level up those skills earlier i was using the explosive version of seeker mine but if you really want to have that best version in my opinion let's go with um, cluster seeker mine it's very easy to use you just throw it and automatically search enemies i have here skill haste mod damage mod and plus one cluster mine it's very easy to get so that's pretty good and then for the other skill i'm using a drone i am using 7.4 duration some skill health that is extremely low do i have any other mods here unfortunately that is it 7.8 health and lastly i have here 4.9 damage which is pretty much maxed out i think we yeah that's like the best that i have 
Okay, so before we proceed and go to the shooting range, let's take a look at the stats. I have here 29% critical hit chance. Again, very low. And then we have a abysmally low critical hit damage. But the most important thing here is the skill damage and skill cooldown because this is a skill build. Now, the skill haste that we have here is 152%. But you guys... Are probably more optimized you have more resources this could go a lot higher the cooldown for our seeker mine is 19 seconds but you know this could reset if we activate the chest piece talent the damage that we have here is two million three hundred thousand for the drone i have here 152 skill haste it has a 10 second cooldown and the health is 3,300,000, although your drone probably won't die. Uh, the duration is pretty long, it's like 212. The damage is 73,900. Okay, so here we are at the shooting range. Let's take a look at the first step passive or talent that we have here. We have here test subject. Now. The talent that we're going to be talking about is perfectly in sync. Now, I did already explain this on my other previous video, but let's go uh, ahead and uh, talk about it again. Basically, there's like two versions of it. If we shoot the enemy with our weapon, we get a buff that looks like this. And if we hit an enemy with our skill, we also activate another buff that looks like this, but it's differently shaded. And then when you have like both of these icons activated, we have another icon, which is both these gears are shaded or white. And that means that it's activated and the amount of buff that we have is doubled. So let's take a look at that. Right now I'm gonna shoot this. And as you can see here at the bottom, I'm shooting it in a, with a weapon. And we have this gear icon with the left gear being shaded. And if I, throw out my drone here and target this enemy here we see that we have immediately three gears here that means that the buff is doubled and we also activate the other one all right so for the next talent that we're going to be talking about if you decide to go for the surge which is this weapon it's a rifle uh we're going to be talking about perfect spike headshots grant 25% skill damage for 15 seconds. Now, let me just demonstrate here. Let me shoot this dummy here on the head. As you can see there at the bottom left, there is a icon. That means that we get a 25% bonus to our skill damage for 12 seconds. The talent that we have here is perfectly skilled. Skills have a 30% chance to reset skilled cooldowns. Okay, so we have a bunch of enemies here. I'm going to throw this Seeker Mine and let's see if uh, it does reset. And there you go. It did reset. There is a chance that it will not happen. Let me show you guys here. The skill haste is disabled. So there you go. That is the chest speed talent for this build. Last but not the least, we're going to be talking about the backpack talent here, which is perfectly actually perfect combined arms very simple shooting an enemy increases total skill damage by 30 percent for three seconds so it doesn't really matter if it's a headshot a body shot uh, just try to shoot enemies and your skill damage will increase by 30 percent and let me just demonstrate and show the icon here as you can see on the left i will zoom in there you have your icon that means that we get a 30 percent boost on skill damage as long as that icon is there and there you go guys a very simple build it uses a bunch of yellows so feel free to probably optimize this build if you like this build because you don't have to worry for the classified gear sets like in division one that they will probably add in the future uh, because this is a yellow build it doesn't really have any green items also it uses two yellow items here two named items that are separate and you can't really rank it up 
as fast as the other pieces of Empress. We have here Caesar's Guard, mine is rank 2, and the other one is Force Multiplier. Another yellow item, it's a yellow version of the Hanayu gear set, or actually gear brand. Uh, it's rank 4 on my account not really leveled up yet but hopefully in the future also in earlier in the video i was using a different seeker mine because the seeker mine wasn't really i'm not really proficient at it yet it was this one it also works so if you want to use and get your proficiency or ex expertise higher uh you know feel free to use any skill because this build is very good and could probably work with any skill Right now, I really can't really think of a skill that won't really work well with this because it does have pretty much everything. It has skill haste, skill damage, and skill efficiency, which pretty much adds a bit of repair skills and status effects. So it's pretty nice, very nice build. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.